Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I'm Catherine. And it's finally time for my annual outdoor living space collaboration. Thank you ladies for participating. You've endured a lot to get your videos done and I really appreciate it. Now, there's a playlist attached to this video. Click it and you'll be able to see all of the videos of all the channels or Instagram websites that are participating. So let's go to work with the front porch. I'm taking this bench as well as this table from bronze to black with a can of spray paint. And it's the kind that dries in 15 minutes. Doesn't that look better? I also spray painted this chair, which was also another freebie, black. Looks like I'm gonna have a consistent look here and I absolutely love it. Now, if you remember this piece a couple of years ago, it was gold and I painted it white and I featured it last year on our patio. Now in 2016, I added a white trim to this Cecil rug. In 2017, I added a blue trim over the white trim. And here it is, 2018. And I'm adding black over the blue trim. Now I'm using glossy black latex paint. And it varies in color based upon the color of the previous paint underneath it. What do you think, guys? That black paint looks fabulous. And to think, I wanted to sell this rug at last summer's garage sale. Now to complement my newly painted rug, I wanted to update these doormats. So I got two of these from At Home for like $9. I shopped At Home for the tall flower pots on their buy one, get one half price promotion. Fill the pots with potting soil about four inches from the top and then wet your soil. And this is something that I love to have on the front porch. You simply remove a bottom portion of your plant and place it inside and then fill in the corners with the dirt. You do not put this completely down inside your flower pot. If you want beautiful tall ferns for $9 to $11, go to Home Depot. Now the rug is drying overnight and this is what we have so far. Now I didn't want the window above the bench to be blank so I decided to make a quick wreath and I'm using some old Dollar Tree soap florals. These are basically the last the white ones and I took a 24 inch wreath, spray painted it black and I'm turning it with the curvy side facing forward and I'm alternating the flowers all the way around it in one direction and then I'm using some of that mechanic wire that's at the Dollar Tree and I'm actually just twisting it around the plants and that way I don't have to have foam or anything like that and it turned out really really pretty just finding scraps in my floral bin and creating this very simple wreath. This wreath is not only simple but it's also very pretty. This is how it looks from the back. Now, anytime I do the silk florals outside, I like to spray them with fabric stiffener. It helps them to look fresh longer. You can actually hear the stiffness. After it dries, my Dollar Tree flowers are in for the long haul. I've decided to just leave the wreath up for spring. And then after that, just enjoy the beautiful metal art on the opposite wall. I think that white paint on that metal piece looks really, really pretty. So here we go. This is the finished product. The two rugs look phenomenal next to the printed seat cushion and pillow, which I wanted to add a little drama to the porch this year. I wanted to have textures and prints mixed together. And the only pillows that I purchased was the black and white pillow as well as the black and white seat cushion. They were buy one, get one half price from at home. Now this is one of three of the post mount lights that blew over in our yard during that last hurricane. Well, let's do an easy upcycle. I think it looks great right here on the table. And the other two post mount lights are on the patio. I tell you that outdoor command strip that's holding up that wreath has been there for four years and it's still going strong. Our furniture was purchased in 2014, but I didn't add color until the following year with a few upcycles, of course. Now you'll be able to see some of these videos and they'll be attached in the information box as well as on an iCard for outdoor living spaces. On a very cloudy day, I used this spray paint by Krylon. It dries in 15 minutes. I used it to update 
plant stands, flower pots, and some metal art. The first coat, like I said, dried in 15 minutes, and then I added the second coat. Guys, it saved me so much time. When it's too cold and no one wants to come outside, the rug are stored in the garage and the pillows are on a shelf after we've washed them. You guys know how I love to recycle them and I make my own pillow covers. So for our extra wide bistro chairs, I simply purchase one of those chase cushions from at home, open it up, remove the cushions, cut them into three equal parts using the same fabric, stitch down the seams and I now have three cushions and these are the other two post mounted lights so here's my color palette for the patio we're going with red tan and white and i think this is pretty good because i want to feel a little bit more of a global atmosphere outside the rug came from target and i think it was 59 dollars. i love it that's exactly what i was looking for and the fabric came from joe and fabric it was all 50 percent off and it is outdoor fabric there you have it, the old is new again. Now this is the best decision I have ever made for this space to use drop cloths as curtains. Guys, you can find them as low as $7 on sale, whether you're Harbor Freight, Lowe's, or Home Depot. They are perfect. I will only paint them when I'm using them as indoor curtains. Put them in the dryer before you hang them. You can reduce about 75% of the dust on your patio. I did, love it. Well now, I'd like to welcome you to this year's outdoor living space. This wooden cooler is from Backyard Expressions. I love it. I'll have a link to their website in the information box of this video. On top of this cooler, yep, you see that mounted light again, but now it's a lantern with an LED candle. And there's a succulent arrangement. All of those succulents and the pebbles are from the Dollar Tree. And the wall art hanging above it is made from Dollar Tree clothespins Mira and their gems. I'll link that video in the information box of this video. I pulled from inside the house using touches of wicker as well as succulents that were from Dollar Tree on last year. I think those cushions look really, really pretty. There are the pillows. In contrast, I just tried to opposite everything. I am loving the metal wall art. And again, just a fresh touch of the white paint. And I think everything looks very well pulled together. I think I touched on the global perspective when it comes to decorating. I love the rug, how it tied everything together. Together. and black and red just always looks good together anyway so what do you guys think do you think that this is looking pretty good this is the third of those post mounted lights and I am using it in a vignette here just place some loose succulents here from the Dollar Tree just sticking those around the bottom I love this carved sculpture it was a wedding gift and it's a symbol of love now I'm using the bottoms of these old wicker cloches as trays. The cloches were a Goodwill find about three years ago. Our bistro set is also from Backyard Expressions. This is the same mirror from last year. And these little guys are perfect to use as ottomans, food trays, or additional seating. And I can always just move them out of the way into the corner where the large plant is located. Well, if you've been with me a while, you can certainly see that I decorate my outside spaces the way that I would decorate my indoor spaces. I love color, I love texture, and I love to see patterns work together. And I think that this was a very fun project and I'm loving how it all comes together. And like always, adding that layer of rocks around the top of your plants, those that you're placing near your living spaces, it will reduce the amount of dirt and dust being blown around. So here is one final view of the back patio. I love it, guys. I cannot tell you how much I love it. And considering how tired I am, <laughs> yeah, I've got one more step to do. Um, and that's going to be in a couple of days when my husband and I are going to clean this grill. You know, he used it last. That's all I'm going to say. Now, we still have our hammock chairs from Backyard Expressions. And our neighbor's kids 
They love these chairs, guys. We're going to give them to them. Now, there's a lot more that went into these spaces that I care to share. That includes pesticide and pressure washing and all the typical stuff that you would normally do for a cleanup. But you know how that works. So I hope that you enjoyed the entire video that I presented today. Click the playlist for other inspirational ideas. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, stay in prayer and stay creative. Happy spring, everyone. Please subscribe and click that bell to turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.